Hi everyone, my name is Jim Harold. I'm going to be your instructor for PA 8566 Intergovernmental Management this summer of 2016. When Dr. Craig Maher, our uh, chair of the MPA program, asked me if I'd be interested in teaching this class, I really jumped at the class. And that's because I'm really interested in how governance gets done in the intergovernmental uh, environment. Because that really is, to a large extent, the way we we execute a lot of government programs. And so um, what this course is about is just brushing on that and then allowing you to look at some specifics of inter intergovernmental management. So a little bit about me. Um, I am a PhD. In fact, I just completed, uh, just defended my dissertation um, earlier in 2016. My first career was as uh, a military person. I spent 26 years as an Air Force officer. Um, so I did work in what we called at the federal level the interagency environment, which is a little different. And then I had the chance as a PhD student and, um, and earlier as an MPA student to learn more about the intergovernmental um, system. And I think it's really fascinating and I think it's something we should continue to explore. So the way we're going to do that during this summer term is we're going to start out with uh, a little bit about federalism because I think that's really important for you to understand um, the foundations of federalism how, and how we got to where we are today. So we're going to spend a couple weeks on that. And then I have a, uh, a couple of units where all of us are going to explore intergovernmental management and intergovernmental relations together. And then in the final part of the course, what I do is I allow you to specialize. I design three tracks, and you can look at the syllabus and see how I do that, but I allow you to um, uh, specialize somewhat in intergovernmental management in an area you're interested in. So, for example, um, I have a healthcare block, I have an emergency management block, and I have a block on city and other government relations. And then finally, we'll, we'll come back together as a group and present our projects. And let me talk a little bit about what those projects are. Um, what those projects are going to involve is not a paper. What I would like students to do for this summer term is to design a professional presentation. And in the syllabus, I say PowerPoint or Prezi or some other um, presentation format. Um, you may even consider doing a video, and if you want to do that, you can talk to me. Um, but really what I'm interested in is you taking the position um, of, say, uh, an employee or maybe a director at, an inter at a governmental agency, and then informing your superiors on a problem involving intergovernmental management, and then presenting some solutions as to how you would uh, overcome this problem or how you would address this problem. There's a lot more that I say about that in the syllabus. So um, I'd urge everybody to go ahead and get into the syllabus. Uh, remember that Blackboard is going to be down uh, from May 11th through May 14th. The Blackboard office says it could be a shorter period, so let's hope that it is. But we will get right into the material on the first week of class starting on May 16th. That's why I've made this first week available now, um, as of May 5th. So um, go ahead and start getting into the material. If you do have questions, the very best way to contact me is through my email address, my UNO email address, jherald at unomahaedu. Um, I do have an office in the CPACS building, 113B, but since it's summer, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't count on me being there unless you unless you make arrangements in advance. And I will meet you on campus. Uh, for those of you who live in Omaha, uh, typically during daytime or even in the evening, if we can make advance arrangements, I'm always willing to sit down with a student and go through questions. So let's go through this intergovernmental management together, and let's uh, let's all benefit from it. Uh, I look forward to working with each of you. Thank you.